Am I on the right pod? Hi, everybody. Nurse Michelle here again. No, I'm just not again. <laughs> you turn red. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Nurse Michelle here again. Today, I'd like to talk about the differences between BLS, BCLS, and CPR, if there is any difference, and the classes that we take. So there is a slight difference. Uh, BLS, CPR, and BLS really are synonymous, but the programs that we take have a slightly difference, a slight difference to them. For example, health professional classes used to be called BCLS classes, now they're called BLS classes. Maybe it's a little simpler, but it's basic life support. So when a healthcare professional takes a BLS program, of course they get background lectures, you know, about stroke and, you know, diseases of the heart and lungs and how patients have cardiac arrest and how we get the, you know, the EMS involved, calling 911 and uh, definitely the AED, automatic external defibrillator. When the general public or laymen take a CPR class, it could be called family and friends, they used to call it heart saver program, and sometimes there's choices. You know, the most popular programs are certainly offered by the American Heart Association, the American Red Cross, but there are a lot of agencies and groups that offer these programs, and you can even take a simple program online. Certainly it's always better to practice the skill, and that might certainly require getting down on our hands and knees and doing compressions, at least two minutes of that. Uh, healthcare professionals also learn to use other adjuncts, like for the airway. We call it the AMBU bag or bag mask valve devices to supply oxygen. When the lay person or the community takes CPR, they might um, look for, you know, first aid type of programs, how to put bandages on. CPR usually is associated with adult CPR, but they can take a program that includes children and infant CPR as well. They might have to search for that. So every class that we take, whether it's health professionals or the community, every one of us learn how to use an AED. Because um, it's simply as, you know, if you're pushing down on the chest doing CPR and somebody brings the AED on, it's as simple as turning on the machine and it tells us what to do. Every two years, it's required for health professionals to retake the CPR class to do a recertification. Those classes are usually a shorter length of time. So that could be between three and four hours, whereas we call a certification might be up to six to eight hours, depending on the instructor and the size of the class as well. So if you have any other questions about the CPR class you're going to take, you can certainly ask me about it. You could certainly look online. Um, I hope you visit uh, my website, and that's the nurseeducated.com. And there's other articles about CPR and other advanced classes as well. So thanks for visiting. I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.